Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, I don't really have a lot to do today, um, at least not a lot to do for the vlog. I gotta do some chores, I gotta do a little cleaning up around the house, do a load of laundry, go to the grocery store. You know, all that kind of fun stuff. I do have a couple things I want to talk about. It is Monday and today is the day my father was supposed to go home. They still want to hold him a little bit longer. He continues to improve, but they're just kind of playing it day by day uh, just to, in order to figure out what's going on. I've just been texting him a little bit. Um, he's, he's still in his ward room, but he's hoping that he's going to get pushed back maybe to his own private room today. And so he's looking forward to that because then he can hopefully get a physical therapist to come in and allow him to get up and walk. Uh, that's always been, you know, it's been like the, the highlight of his day. And the truth is the last time he's gotten out of bed and gotten to walk around was when I was there last Sunday. So it's been like eight days and he's getting a little stir crazy and it's a little hard on his back if he doesn't get out and walk a little bit. So he's looking forward to that. He says he's continuing to improve, uh, but they still just kind of want to keep, keep an eye on him because they're still not entirely sure what caused the blood pressure loss before and they don't want to send him home if he's not able to, you know, regulate his blood pressure. So we got that going, you know, we're just kind of playing it by ear, but like I said, he's continuing to do better and uh, really raring to get up and do some walking. So that's about all I have for that. So I just got done uh, completing the first edit of this video that you're watching now. And when I was looking at myself on screen, it, it seemed to me that I looked like I was really red. And I wanted to explain that because a lot of people sometimes think that, you know, because I went to the uh, fair yesterday that I got sunburned. In reality, that's not what happened. Uh, as it turns out, I've been telling you in the past that the, uh, that the landlord and the management team of this place have been kind of doing some upgrades in the complex to kind of make the place look a little nicer. They repainted, they repaired the carports, they've been doing some kind of beautification things. And about a week ago, they did one other thing. They actually replaced the screens on all the windows. Now, these aren't just normal screens, because normally what you do on a screen is you just screen in the windows that open up so you can open up the window, get a little fresh air in without having the bugs come in with you. They didn't do that. Well, they did do that, but they also put screens over the parts of the window that don't open. And I actually questioned them about that when they were doing that, and there's a method to their madness. Uh, what they've done is these screens are designed to cut the amount of light coming into the apartment in the hopes of you know keeping the heat out so that they can control the energy costs a little bit. Unfortunately, what that means is these uh, windows, which I usually use to you know light my light the scene when I'm uh, shooting video, I can't necessarily do that anymore because now half the light is coming in, maybe even less than half the light is coming in uh, from the windows. So I'm actually having to use an artificial light source. And it's that artificial light source that kind of makes me look like I got a sunburn. So I just wanted to clarify that with you just so that there weren't any concerns. Now I do have one other interesting little thing to report. Something happened today that hasn't happened in the entire time that I have been here in Texas. I arrived in May and this hasn't happened at all. Um, last night, oh, middle of the night, I don't know, probably one or two in the morning, I'm not sure exactly, uh, it started getting windy and it's been blowing around quite a bit. We were actually supposed to get some rain yesterday. It didn't ever materialize, uh, but like I said, the wind picked up uh, in the middle of the night. And when I got up this morning and actually went out to get the mail, it was cold outside. And I'm looking at the thermometer right now. It's colder outside than it is inside. 71 degrees outside and 77 inside. I'm actually halfway thinking about turning off the air conditioning for once and opening up the windows to get a little fresh air in here. So yeah, that was weird. Uh, that hasn't happened. Uh, just yesterday it was, you know, when I was at the fair, it was like 92 degrees and I was like, you know, I had to go in periodically because it was getting so hot. So, you know, that just shows really how wondrously, uh, unpredictable the weather here in Texas can be. I could always kind of predict what was going on in uh, California and you know especially when it came to short-term stuff you know if we're gonna I could tell you whether it was gonna rain in the next couple of hours or not just by looking at the radar and I was in many cases more accurate than what was going on in uh, you know what the weather was predicting but I have just I'm completely dumbfounded by how the weather works here in Texas 
you know, you can have different storms coming in at different angles, you know, different levels that are going entirely different directions. It's just odd, and nobody predicted this. As early as, as recently as yesterday, they were saying, you know, the temperature was going to be in the, um, you know, low 90s. And look what it is right now, 71. And they're saying that the high today is going to be 76. I doubt they'll get to that because it's about noon right now. And it's 71 and it's overcast and it's windy out there. And yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, it's so unusual here. It's uh, just a nice change of pace. I actually want to get out and be around in it a little bit. So anyway, that is all that I really have today. Thank you as always for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.